everybody. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to use Aiken formatting to create questions for Moodle. This will help you maximize your time as an instructor by eliminating the need to recreate questions for multiple courses and semesters. Since it is important to have correct formatting, we have created an information sheet for you to refer to. Let's go there now. First, you need to go to ISU's main page. We're going to search their website by typing ITRC. This should lead you to a link for the Instructional Technology Resource Center at ISU. This brings you to the main page of the ITRC. On the left hand side, you'll find handouts and guides. We're going to go under Moodle handouts to quiz questions, importing in Aiken format. and here is our reference sheet. First, we need to know that all questions must be typed in a text file. It is a good idea to create a new file using Notepad or TextEdit. Be sure to save it as a text file when you are finished. Next, each question along with the answers must be followed by a carriage return. A carriage return is inserted by hitting the Enter key on the keyboard. And last, each answer must start with a single capitalized letter character followed by either a period or a bracket with a space. The answer line must follow immediately starting with answer in all capital letters, a colon, a space, and then the letter corresponding to the correct answer. Let's practice. To access Notepad, we need to go to the left hand side to our start button. We're going to go to All Programs and Accessories. In there, you should find the Notepad program. Okay. Let's begin with our first question. Once you type your question, remember that it needs to be followed by a carriage key by pressing Enter. I'm then going to begin with a capital letter, a bracket, a space, and then my first answer. Make sure to keep the formatting for each answer. Capital letter, bracket, space, and your option. Followed by a carriage return. When we're finished, we need to type answer in all capital letters, a colon, a space, and your correct answer. When you're finished with your first question, you need to provide your carriage return and an extra space between each of the questions. Let's do one more. Remember, I'm going to follow with a carriage return, and then a capital letter, a bracket, a space, and my option. Carriage return, capital letter, bracket, space, and my second option. At the end of my question, I'm going to put ANSWER in all capital letters, followed by a colon, a space, and the correct answer. When you're finished, be sure to go to FILE, SAVE AS, be sure to label your file, and we want to make sure that we're saving it as a text document and important, we're going to go to Encoding and select UTF-8. And now we're finished.